Welcome to this virtual service of the Unitarian Universalist Fellowship of Waynesboro. I am Laura Riggin. I am a member of UUFW for the opportunity it provides for me to listen and talk with good people, to be an activist in causes close to my heart, and to hear some words of wisdom, calming or inspiring, or maybe both, at least once a week. This fellowship has made commitments to ever-increasing inclusion. Sometimes we may think for a moment that we've got it down, and then we recognize something we can learn to do better to include a wider sampling of humanity. We value our individual differences of all kinds as a strength, as something to celebrate rather than to minimize. Race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, socioeconomic standing, profession or occupation, our outlooks on political policies and candidates. Many are the differences among us. And when we celebrate them rather than hide them, we are stronger. We are better together. Thank you for joining with us for this service. If we do not know you yet, we hope to get to know you soon. And we look forward to seeing you in person once we are able to Our words of prayer are by Loretta Williams. We bearers of the dream affirm that a new vision of hope is emerging. We pledge to work for that community in which justice will be actively present. We affirm that there is struggle yet ahead. We know 
that in the struggle is the hope for the future. We affirm that we are co-creators of the future, not passive pawns. And we stand united in affirmation of our hope and vision of a just and inclusive society. We affirm the unity of all persons. We affirm siblinghood that allows us to touch upon each other's humanity. We affirm a unity that opens our eyes, ears, and hearts to see the different but common forms of oppression, suffering, and pain. Yet we are one in the image of God and we celebrate our hopes for human unity. Within ourselves and within the gathered community, we will discover the strength not to hide in indifference. Affirming that hope publicly expressed energizes and enables us to move forward Together we pledge action to transcend barriers, be they racial, political, economic, social, or religious. We pledge to make our tomorrows become our todays. Each week as we gather, we have the opportunity to share the joys and sorrows of our personal lives. We did not have any submitted for inclusion in this service this week, but we know that every week there are joys and sorrows that remain unspoken among us. So together, let us join quietly in holding these joys and sorrows in our hearts. Hello, you, you family. I'm going to sing a song with you called Shine On Me. It's an amazing spiritual that anybody can sing. And in these days when the things that we're dealing with, the feeling separate and all of that, and things seem so hard, this is one of those songs that you just throw your head back, put it in your medicine kit. All you have to do is ask. And here's how it goes. Shine on me, oh, shine on me. Let the light from the lighthouse shine on me, oh, shine on me. Yes, shine on me. Let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. Lift me up, oh, lift me up. Let the light from the lighthouse lift me up. Oh, lift me up, 
Yes, lift me up. Let the light from the lighthouse lift me up. Oh, hold me close. Yes, hold me close. Let the light. Let the light from the light from the lighthouse hold me close. Yes, hold me close. So hold me close. Let the light from the lighthouse please hold me so oh, shine, shine on me, shine on me, yes, shine on me. Let the light, let the light from the light shine on me. Oh, shine on me, yes, shine on me. Let the light from the lighthouse shine All you have to do is just ask. The light is always there. Always. 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 Beyond Borders by Rick Hoyt Man on Roadside Carrying Suitcase Go forth, because we are always going forth from somewhere. Going from our homes, our childhoods, going from our cities and countries. Going from innocence to experience to enlightenment. Going into mystery and questions. Going into the desert. Getting to the other side. Go forth. Leave behind the comfort and community of one place. Head into the anxiety and loneliness of another. Carry with you the love and laughter of this place and let it light your way. Carry with you the wisdom you have learned and the good memories. May they give you strength for your journey. And when you have been away long enough, far enough, done what you'd set off to do, been there so long that place too starts to feel like home Come back. Come back to the one universal, everywhere and every when and every one inclusive home. This beloved community of all creation that you can never really leave.
Come, come, whoever you are, wanderer, worshipper, lover of leaving, ours is no caravan of despair. Come, yet again, come. Come back. Come back to the one, universal, everywhere and every when, and every one inclusive home. This beloved community of all creation that you can never really leave. Return again. Return again, return to the home of your soul. Return again, return again, return to the home of your soul. Return to what you are. Return to who you are, return to where you are, born and reborn again. Return to what you are, return to who you are, return to where you are, born and reborn again. Return again, return again, return to the home of your soul. Or in words you might recognize from the Beatles, get back to where you once belonged. This is the time of year when everything is starting up again. People are recentering on their priorities and activities. Schools have resumed classes in whatever fashion they are able, given local conditions and concerns about the pandemic. Many people who were able to vacation this year are back, going about their business in whatever way the pandemic allows them to. We have had our water service and are back in what we sometimes refer to as the church year, even though there is no great difference here between summer and the rest of the year. Even before the pandemic struck, we had minimized that difference in this fellowship. At one point, in time, it was not uncommon for Unitarian Universalist congregations to either shut down for the summer or to change their style of service nearly completely and to stop many of the activities of the congregation until Labor Day had passed. But that pattern is becoming less common as people live their lives and do their work on schedules that are less shared than at times in the past. So here we are back in the swing of things, even if the difference is only the emotional difference between how we perceive the seasons. Here we are still sharing worship by means of a YouTube video. Here we are still longing for the possibility of being face to face in person again. Meanwhile, it is Rosh Hashanah and Jews around the world have entered the new year 5781. In the Jewish tradition, the return at the beginning of the new year is connected to Teshuvah, repentance, the idea of returning to your true self, recentering, recommitting, Resuming the work of your life or of your season in life with a new outlook that is better geared to take you where you really want to be. This is an important message for Unitarian Universalists. On the one hand, 
we are all about change. How can we make positive change in the world? How can we change the world so it is more just? We consider our mission not one simply of being comforted, but as actively making a difference. We are called to go forth. Ours has not been a proselytizing faith. Our universalist ancestors passed on the understanding that people do not receive or achieve salvation, whatever we take that to mean, because we believe or profess a certain thing, but because of the very nature of reality, the very nature of the divine. What is most holy is love, not particulars of how we parse that. And so we have never felt the need for everyone to come to this religion that has provided a home and a safe haven and love to so many of us. We go forth into the world, but we are not that kind of missionary. We do not seek to change others into copies of ourselves, but our faith has called us into the mission of making a difference, making change. Those of us who are poetry geeks or nerds or who just had a really influential English teacher somewhere along the way may know these words from T.S. Eliot's Four Quartets. What we call the beginning is often the end, and to make an end is to make a beginning. The end is where we start from. We know about cycles of human experience and how discovery leads to discovery until we find the thing we had earlier lost our grip on. But how does that relate to the one universal everywhere and every when and every one inclusive home that Rick Hoyt talked about in our reading? So how does that jibe with returning, coming back to our true self? Looked at a certain way, that sounds more like comfort more like an opposite of making a difference. But humanity makes progress in spirals and in arcs rather than in straight lines. We shoot an arrow into the air, it falls to the earth, we know not where, to borrow the image from Henry Wadsworth Long's, Longfellow. But we rarely move in straight lines to get from today to tomorrow from injustice to justice. We go and return. We set out on a mission which we may achieve or not, and then often head somewhere familiar. Everything is different, but some things are the same. Like our solar system corkscrewing its way through time and space, so is our path to a better world. We return in order to head out again. We may be gathering scrapbooks full of memories, but if we are lucky, if we take advantage of our situation to find that the end of one cycle is the beginning of another, if we set forth with the mission of love and justice, we find that our world of motion is not a world simply of making ourselves better, but making the world better. And so, let our words of benediction this day be words from Rick Hoyt. Carry with you the love and laughter of this place and let it light your way. Carry with you the wisdom you learned and the good memories May they give you strength for your journey. Amen and blessed be.